All right, welcome back to M&M Classic Tractor. Uh, here we are. We have already taken and cleaned up the exterior of this, painted it and everything, uh, redone those seals. Uh, we've already brushed out the inside, got it down uh, to just the oxidation. So now we're going to work on surfacing this where it's flat. So you can already see uh, these shiny spaces right here. What we've done is we've got a big honing block. Uh, you can also use a sanding block, like a vehicle sanding block or whatever. It, you don't have to use an insanely aggressive grip, but you also don't have to treat it like you're actually painting a uh, surface. So you don't have to use ultra fine either. Uh, just a, a medium coarse grit, uh, uh, it, you know, 300, 400, 500, 600, 800 grit, uh, something like that would be about the finest I would go. Uh, and there's really no reason to because the, the, the more roughness you have is good for biting into the gasket and sealing it But what we're working on is a flat surface. So you've seen Where all I've done is gone across this flat surface just like this with this block And I've only done this for about a minute, but you see the shiny spots so that tells us this right here in the center is slightly warped there's a little bit of pitting there, so it's not sealing good right there. Same thing on the bowl, on the base. I've been going just like this for about a minute. And you can also see it's starting to take off up around this area, taking off down around here. So we've got a little bit of surface issues right in this area, but also in the middle. So if that means it's low in the middle here and it's low in the middle there, most likely what will happen, this is where a lot of times you, you adjust the float 15,000 times, but you can't figure out why gas keeps pouring out of the mouth of the carburetor. This is one of the reasons right here. Uh, it doesn't leak around the outer edges or seep outside, but, but it leaks internally. Uh, even though the float might be getting up and shutting it down, that, that little micro gap right there is enough to mess with this. It's, it's amazing how this technology, even though it's not that precise, how that minute of a gap can play such a big role in uh, issues with this. So when we come back, we'll have all this polished up. We'll move on to the next couple steps uh, on putting this carburetor back together.